All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the best settings for streaming on OBS because the last thing you wanna worry about is whether you did it right or not. We're gonna do it, no fluff, let's get into it. All right, so as we head into the settings menu, the first page, this is basically all customized things just for functionality for you. Go through this at your leisure. None of this matters for the streaming side. So we're gonna click on the stream tab. Now this is fairly self-explanatory, except there's one thing here I wanna pay attention to. So you can see there's YouTube and Twitch, the two most popular ones. You can use your stream key, connect to your account. But what I want you to focus on is the maximum video bit rate. You'll notice it's significantly higher on YouTube. For most people, you're gonna be streaming on Twitch. So when we look at the Twitch side, we notice that number is significantly lower. Basically six megs up is what you're gonna be focusing on. That's gonna be important when we get to the next step. So when we go to the output tab, this is where things get really interesting and where things really separate themselves. First things first is our encoder. Now, normally you're gonna have one for your graphics card or one for X264 which is essentially your CPU. If you have the NVENC encoder, this is absolutely what you want to use. It's gonna use the encoder on your graphics card and it's gonna give you so much ease of use. That's what we wanna focus on. Now, as far as the rate control, CBR constant bit rate, this is what we wanna focus on. There's a drop down here. We're gonna focus on CBR. Now that number that I showed you for Twitch says a maximum of 6,000. You can technically go over that, but 6,000 is where you wanna put that if you're on Twitch. Now, if you are on YouTube, you have streaming options like 1440, even up to 4K. If you do wanna look at those options, you will need to adjust your bitrate accordingly for what you're going to send there. Down in the description, there's gonna be a link towards Twitch's best practices for bitrate or what resolution you're using. And I'm also gonna link one for YouTube so you can check those out to make sure and adjust it towards what you're doing. For the keyframe interval, we're gonna put this at two seconds for the preset. Now this is one that's gonna be largely dependent on your PC and what's going to be capable. Now I don't think you're gonna notice a huge difference even if you do have a good one. I'm running a 4090 and even I don't go higher than this, especially because I'm single PC streaming. Normally you're gonna land around P5 good quality. You're not gonna see a significant difference when running P6 or P7. So don't think that you need to squeeze out every inch of it through here. If you do need to drop it down to P4, this is largely performance based, but most people are gonna land on P5. For the tuning quality, we're gonna put this on high quality. Don't worry about the other two. For the multi-pass mode, this is something new to OBS 29 and above. And this is going to be on two-pass quarter resolution. There's a lot of information out there if you wanna look further into it, but most people are gonna tell you two-pass quarter resolution is exactly where you wanna be. For the profile, we're gonna set this to high. For the look ahead, we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna leave that unchecked, but for the psycho-visual tuning, you can hover over these for the tool tips. But again, you're gonna leave this on. For the max B frames, we're also going to set this at two. Going to the audio tab, you're gonna see that there's gonna be bitrate for each track that you can put out on OBS. Twitch does say you can go up to 320. Again, you're not gonna see a significant difference jumping from 160 or 128 up to 320. And that's just if you have the extra bandwidth to be able to push it, but there's no harm, just put it at 320 if you want to. For the audio section, it's very unlikely you'll change anything here. Only if you start to do some more advanced stuff like disabling desktop audio, if you're looking to separate audio, which I'll have another video for that. For the video tab, 1440, and 4K are becoming really common, especially 1440. And one of the things that you're gonna do, especially if you're streaming on Twitch or you don't have the performance, you're probably still going to stream in 1080. And this is where you want to change the output resolution and downscale it. So what you'll do is click the drop down menu and change that to 1080. And again, if you don't have a powerful machine and you need to go down or you don't have the bandwidth, this is where you would drop it down to 720. You wanna do it on this page. So here we're gonna change it to 1080. As far as the downscale filter, goes, Bicubic is gonna be the most recommended for everybody to use. So just pick this one, you're set, and you're good to go. As far as the FPS values, normally you're gonna go 60. 60 is what is gonna be the most common, especially on Twitch. Again, the only reason you would lower this is if you don't have a PC strong enough, and if that's the case, you're gonna drop that down to 30. And if you are wondering what to go with first, if you had to sacrifice FPS or resolution, it's better to run 720 at 60 FPS than it is 1080 at 30 FPS. I'm not gonna worry about the hotkeys or the accessibility. Again, highly customizable directly to you, very self-explanatory. The only other page that you might be considering is the advanced tab. Nobody is streaming yet in HDR, and if you wanna stream in HDR, good luck to you. But right now, everything on the advanced tab is exactly where you need it to be, and it's highly recommended you make sure that you leave the color space on Rec 709, which is the most common, and then color range, you're gonna be tempted to change this to full. Don't limit it is exactly where you want to be. There's a lot of really easy things you can do on OBS that will significantly enhance your stream. 
So I put together this playlist with some really easy to follow videos that can really help you take your stream to the next level. So make sure and check that out.